The Timberwolves traded for Rudy Gobert. The trade package was Malik Beasley, Patrick Beverly, Walker Kessler, Jared Vanderbilt, and their 2023 first round pick, their 2025 first round pick, their 2027 first round pick, a swap in 2026, and a top five protected pick in 2029. All those picks are being sent to Utah. So, Rudy Gobert to the T-Wolves, that's a big move for them. Helps improve their front court defense. They have a potential new starting lineup of D'Angelo Russell, Anthony Edwards, J.D. McDaniels, Carl Anthony Towns, and Gobert. Gobert now allows Cat to move over to the four. Instead of Cat handling centers, he can handle power forwards, which might be a better matchup for him defensively, while Gobert's main focus on defense will be protecting the rim and grabbing defensive rebounds and blocking shots. Now, the question is, did the Timberwolves overpay for Gobert? I would say yes, given how much you gave up. Because you got to, they gave up like five first round picks and the, the guy that just drafted in the first round this draft from Walker Kessler. So if I looked at that right, that's six first round picks. You want to count Walker Kessler as a first round pick because they just drafted him not too long ago. So I did think they overpay, but sometimes you got to overpay to get the guy you want. Do I think Gobert is worth all the assets the T Wolves gave up? No, but. At the same time, you got to go get the guy that you think can help your team win. So now for the Jazz, they have now a lot of draft capital and players that might not really be a part of the future. Patrick Beverly, I don't know how long his deal is. Walker Kessler, maybe he can be a solid guy for the future. Jared Vanderbilt, he's a solid defender. Not doesn't provide you much on offense, but he's a really good defender. Malik Beasley, good 3 and D role player. So he can contribute. So, and now, do they trade Donovan Mitchell after trading Rigo Bear? It's a possibility, but according to reports, the Jazz are not looking to. Now, things can change, but as of right now, it doesn't look like they're going to. And they're just going to just try to retool the roster around Donovan Mitchell and still try to be somewhat competitive. So, yeah, I mean, Jazz, you know, Rigo Bear was the one that's probably going to get traded from reports and, you know, what I thought was going to happen. So, I'm not mad at the Jazz for moving Rudy Gobert. I didn't think they would get this much draft capital and this this much asset alone, but I don't think people are saying the Jazz fleeced the Timberwolves. I think um like maybe the Jazz got more than what Gobert is worth, but and the Timberwolves got two times each in the Player of the Year and guy that can you know help them win right now while the Jazz can get future assets to help build around Donovan Mitchell. Maybe trade those draft picks and those players for maybe to bring another player to. Paradigm of Mitchell in the future. Alright, I'll see you on the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe.